How's everyone today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, we've had some unfortunate uh, happenings. <laughs> uh, we are on a new map. And the reason that we are on, on a new map is uh, I was on Huron County, Michigan, and we had a power outage here at the house. And I don't know why, but my whole map disappeared. Uh, I had two tractors running, one in each field at the time, and we had a glitch in the power, and whenever I brought it all back up, uh, the whole map was gone. Everything. So, that makes the second time that I have lost that map. I lost it in the very beginning. Uh, when I first started playing it, and uh, I got it back, and then I've lost it again. So, we completed, let me check here, we completed 46 videos on that map, and we had a pretty good run. So now, uh, I think it's time to go to a different map. And this one is Red River, Manitoba. It's a Canadian map, Morse, Canada. And uh, we're going to jump right in here. And <clears throat> we're going to do things the only way I know how. And that's to uh, just <laughs> five harvesters. Yeah, we're going to run five harvesters. And we're going to... Uh, harvest this canola field. It's not going to produce the best yield, but uh, because it wasn't planted correctly, but that's okay. And down here, we've got three trucks that's going to run on auto drive, and they're going to take our crop uh, to the silo for us. So, all right, well, we're going to get these harvesters fired off, and when I get them running, I will get right back to you. All right, well, we're in number five, and we've got him kicked off. Everything looks good so far. All right. Very good. They're going to make one headland pass, and then they'll do their up and down rows, and I think. They should start uh, right over here in this corner on their up and down rows, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure that that's where they're going to start. So, we're going to bail out of this harvester because he don't need us to ride with him. We're going to go get in our grain cart and see about following them, chasing them. All right. Well, it looks like they're off to a good start. <laughs> this is a pretty good sized field. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, now we can get out of here and check. Yeah, it's uh, 320.72 acres. So, uh, yeah, a pretty good sized field. It's 
so we'll be here for a little while. I mean, it's not going to take a big long time. It's not like harvesting 600 acres or 700. I've done them before. So, yeah, it's, it's not like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's respectable, let's put it that way. <laughs> All right. Get back here and get number two. tell you one thing. <coughs> Excuse me. There will be a lot of grain uh, being moved on this on this map. These fields are huge. This is a 10 kilometer map. So yes, it's it's not it's not a it's not your ordinary map. And the fields are big so and we'll probably get into plowing some of them together to make it you know make the fields even bigger so but we'll see we'll see how it turns out and for right now we're just trying to get our feet wet so to speak uh, and like I say, I apologize for the abrupt ending to uh, Huron County, but that was a little bit beyond my control. Uh, it appears that somewhere in our little town, we had a transformer blow up, and that's what happened. So, uh, I've never heard of losing the whole map because of that. It seems as though uh, maybe you would have lost the progress that you've made for a while, uh, for about the last 15 minutes or so, but the map should automatically be saved. But, uh, yeah, that uh, just was not the case. We lost the whole map, everything. So, uh, like I said, I apologize for that, but it was a little bit beyond my control. And uh, I just decided that we were probably ready to move on anyway. So, we're starting fresh on Red River. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'll get back with you here in a few few moments. All right. Well, number one is completed his headland pass, and I think he should start right here in this corner. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking anyway. That's where he'll start his up and down rows. And it looks like, yes, that is what he's going to do. Good deal. All right. Very good. Number two should come in right on the right side of him and so on. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. All right. Very good.
Okay, well, I'll get back with you when we get a little farther along. All right, we're going to get down here and we're going to load these three trucks and let them get off on their way. They don't have very far to go, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep them busy. <laughs> Yeah, they're probably sitting there, you know, eating their morning bagel or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we need them to go to work. So we'll put our pipe out. Let's get around here and just load this first truck. There we go. Yeah, this map is kind of exciting because it's so big. And uh, it's going to be interesting uh, to see what we can actually build here. Like I said, I, uh, I took the time uh, and built a little bit here. But our farm is probably in the worst position on the map that there is because we're the farthest away from the cell points but that's okay uh, when we get our auto drive routes all done the way we want them uh, it doesn't take these three trucks long and they can haul a lot of grain and sell it so Yes. All right. Well, that's the first 330,000 30, liters uh, of grain on its way. So, very good. Alright, and they're going, let's see if we can get up here and I'll show you where they're going. The first truck is pulling into the first silo right now. That's where they're going to. And that's where they'll all empty out at. All right. Well, we'll get over here. And we're going to get ready to get number one emptied out. Very good. And I'll tell you what, when you're running five harvesters, it doesn't take you very long to walk across a pretty good sized field. That's uh, just, <laughs> it doesn't take long at all. Number two to get turned around and back in his row, and we'll empty him out, and so on. I'll just get back with you here in just a moment. All right, well, 
We're making our way across this field. <clears throat> These five harvesters haven't missed a beat. They're running exactly the way they're supposed to. Everything is looking great. You can sure go through a fairly large field mighty quickly. You figure each one of these harvesters is taking 45 feet. So yeah, that's a pretty good pretty good swipe. We get these guys emptied out we'll go down and we'll empty into our trucks again get them on their way they've already made one trip all three of them so we've got more than enough in this grain cart to load all three of them again so oh yeah in this field, uh, I really didn't expect quite this yield off of it. We're getting a better yield than what I thought we would. But, uh, you know, it only had 50% fertilizer on it. And I think the yield bonus was way down there. I'm not sure, 95% or something like that. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting quite this, this good of a yield. But whenever we replant, uh, you know, we'll plant it our way. And we'll have a 98% yield bonus and we'll be 100% fertilized. So, oh yeah. All right. And we'll get number five. Very good. into our truck and get them going. And I think we're well over halfway through this field already. So, <laughs> oh yeah. And what I'll have to do uh, before we get too awful carried away is I will have to uh, get an auto drive route over to our cell points uh, where that these three guys can all run at the same time without running into one another. So, <laughs> I mean, we've still got quite a bit of room, don't get me wrong. We've got a lot of room but you know how that goes. I mean, that can get away from you pretty quick. And this grain adds up. All right, let's get around here. Get this guy loaded. 
and on his way. All right. That's a lot of canola. All right, we got number three. with you whenever we get just a little farther along. All right, looks like our trucks are coming back. Number one is turning around up there, coming back, getting in his staging area. Very good. Yeah, let's see where number two, number two ought to be. Yep, there comes number two. <clears throat> Very good. All right. Number three shouldn't be very far behind. All right, number two's turning around. He'll come right in behind the other one. <laughs> Very good. And there comes number three. <laughs> that, that is great. All right. Well, I'll get back with you when we get a little farther along. <clears throat> All right, well, it's all about chasing harvesters. <laughs> yeah, we'll get number one. <clears throat> He's got. And by the time we get all these guys emptied out, uh, we may have enough for another load for our trucks. Uh, we'll see.
Very good. We've got what he's got. say I don't know if we'll have enough to load all three of them again when we're done with this route or this particular uh, row but we'll certainly have enough for two of them for sure And we'll get number five. again uh, yeah and we'll come down and we'll load our trucks and get them on the run again so I'll get back with you here in just a few moments all right well we ended up uh, getting enough to load our trucks again so we'll go down here and we'll load them get them on their way and then we'll get back here and start chasing harvesters again I think we may have one more full pass and I think that'll be about it so uh, there might be two more passes anyway we will find out here in just a few minutes. Let's get our pipe out. There's our truck sitting there waiting on us. There we go. Fantastic. All right. He'll tarp in the load. He's off.
good start. Very good. All right. had people ask me about the bottom of this uh, grain cart. And the grain doesn't start showing up, but if you can, maybe I can get in there a little better. See how there's holes in the bottom of that plate? That's expanded metal. And it more or less sifts out uh, tree branches, leaves, or whatever else uh, that you don't necessarily want going through that auger, which is in the bottom of the the uh, grain cart. So that's what it does, and it'll fill the bottom of it up first, and then it gets, uh, you know, starts filling the rest of it up. So anyway, that's how that works. So, I'll get back with you here in just a little bit. Alright. Well, I do believe that we're on our last row. So, I think we're going to call this a video. I think this is going to be a great map. I see a lot of potential here. A lot of room for growth. Oh yeah. So, anyway, uh, if you like this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, oh, it'd be a great time right now. I'd sure appreciate that. If you know someone that you'd like to share this content with, please do. That would be awesome. But as for me, the dirt road farmer, I think we're going to call it a day. And as always, Thank you for watching.